getting a nuclear weapon. A gift from students at George Mason University is hitting all the right notes for a young girl from Fairfax County. She was born with an incomplete left arm, but loved to play the violin. So with the help of a 3D printer, the music will go on. And News 4 Shamari Stone got a chance to meet her. Very happy. I'm very thankful. Ten-year-old Isabella Nicola likes music. It's soothing. She was born in Fairfax without a fully developed left arm. Five George Mason University bioengineering students just gave her a new custom-made pink prosthetic arm. Very grateful because, like, without these people, I, I don't think that I could be able to play my violin. You know, I don't think I could be able to play any instrument. And Isabella is great because uh, she, she always gave us, you know, feedback. Abdul Rahman Gouda and the team worked with her for about a year to perfect the design. As you go, there are things that we adjust when it comes to comfort. The first arm they gave her had a bit of a problem. One of the challenges Isabella had while playing the violin was controlling the bow. Well, this new arm allows her to make it a more comfortable experience. I feel like I have more control with this one than I did with the other one. By control, I mean like pressing down on the notes. Elizabeth Adams teaches violin at George Mason. She worked with Isabella. Are you getting tired? Mm -mm. Yeah, that's great. What do you think about the color? Is that really a question? <laughs> Her mother is proud. She's been able to accomplish so much and that um, she has so many people that love her. And for now, Isabella loves the violin. But as I grow older, you know, I may want to change instruments. And I'm sure with your talent, it won't be too hard. <laughs> Thank you. In Fairfax, Shamari Stone, News 4. Once all the smoke clears from 420, marijuana activists will light up again near Capitol Hill in what they're calling an act of civil disobedience. Today, activists handed out free joints to congressional staffers and government workers. And U.S. Capitol Police arrested seven activists, but they plan to fight the charges because they say they were not on federal land. And under D.C. law, it is legal.